welcome back to my channel so as you guys know i've been going to the gym monday through friday for the past month or so and um even though i've been putting a whole lot of effort a whole lot of work there's days where i still feel like i'm not where i'm supposed to be at or just feel like i've I'm still on stage one so um, I've lost about 20 to 22 pounds already so I was 156 right now I'm at 131 even though I've lost all that weight I still feel the same as I used to before keep in mind that in my my entire life I've always been overweight you know more than I should have been at my height at my age and so I guess that's kind of the issue now that since I've been a baby up to like middle school, high school, I've always been chunky, you know, I've always had jiggles here and there, and now that I've lost all this weight, like it's all good and everything, but I wanted to make a video to talk about it a little bit more because I'm pretty sure there's some people out there that feel the same way that I do. You could have lost maybe 50 pounds maybe 20 maybe even 10 and you're fine with it you look great and everything but there's gonna be those days that you're gonna feel like you're still stuck on the same place back where you started from so what i'm gonna be doing this is gonna be uh, more of trying on my old clothes just to keep me motivated keep me going because at the end of the day this process has been kind of slow but at the same time it's been pretty quick too um the reason why it's good for it to be slow is because at the end of the day my journey is going to be more for a lifetime so if by any chance i finish in a blink of an eye then what's going to be next for me you know so i'd rather stick to something that's going to be slow and steady that's going to help me keep going no matter what and so i'm going to be trying my old clothes on just to you know recap on where i used to be at um versus how i am today and so if you guys want to see just keep on watching by the way don't forget to subscribe like or comment i am going to be posting a how i used to style it you can call it or how i used to wear these shorts and i wanted to show you because these right here they're the biggest size that i have they're uh size 14. um like i said my 156 weight wasn't the highest that i've been i would probably bet that i was like around 170 175. i just don't have a record on that so i'm going to show you that look this is pretty much all that i have for the space on these shorts not sure if you can tell it's quite a bit here a lot on my thighs as well and you can tell from the back too just so that you guys don't think that i'm lying like i said these are the size 14 that i was telling you guys about here i just have another pair of shorts that i used to wear um and look once again i can fit in most of my hand and my thighs they're not as they're not as filled anymore from back from the front and this was actually not even a stretchy material at all my thighs have also been one of those things that i feel like they never go down but the shorts are a proof that they have been going down these are a size 12 so they are two sizes or one size down from the previous one but like i said i mean the other one's more of a stretchy material but this one's not this one's a size 12 and at the time that i was wearing these two um i was actually pretty comfortable with the size 14 and a size 12 as well so like i said it just depends on the type of material that they're made of but most of the time most of my clothes were for a size 14 13 size 12 these are a size 13 and these are the ones that i've been using on my transformation pictures that you've seen around i use that one pretty often because like i said that was probably at my highest i still don't really know what um the actual weight was but like i said that's the highest i've ever seen myself comparing to the picture right here it used to be a lot tighter around this area obviously my legs too you can tell as far as my shirts you can tell right here this one's a size xl now my size for uh shirts 
Um, I would have to say that they're either a medium or a size small. Yeah, incredibly, they're a size small sometimes depending on the material of the shirt. And so I, with the first time that I bought a size small shirt, I was very, very thrilled and surprised and amazed by the amount of work that I had been accomplishing. <laughs> you guys are probably going to be making fun of me for this, but I have a lot more muscle now than I used to do back then. And so... Just because you went to the gym this whole past week doesn't mean that you're not you're not improving like you are, but it's slowly and steady depending on how hard you're working. Um, but yeah, I mean, also for guys, if by any chance you're over there trying to build some muscles, like it's not gonna be a overnight thing. Just do your thing. Like I said, just enjoy this journey because once you get your muscles, like what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna stop working out? Like of course not. You're always gonna go up to another level. And so, same with us girls, same with everybody. Like, if you're trying to lose weight, you lose the weight that you want, like, what are you going to do after that? Are you just going to let this whole journey go to waste and go back to your old habits? Like I said, this journey for me has been completely different from all the other journeys because back then, back in three years ago, I was trying to lose weight too, but I was completely doing it wrong. I was depriving myself from a lot of foods. I thought that the only thing that I could eat was salads. And as you can tell from my channel, salads are not even a priority or they're not even in my meals most of the time. And so, um, like I said, this journey for you, it's depending on what you want to make it. If you want to make it a short term, like go ahead. But if you're that kind of person that want results and you're going to want to keep those results, you're not going to have to, you can't give up on this journey. It's just going to be ongoing, you know? There's a lot of people out there that they completely change once they lose weight or they are a different person and I'm pretty sure they are and that's totally fine too because all their entire life they've been this being a size 2 and being a size 16 or so and so I totally understand that they do change a little bit um, but then again like um, that's the thing about me that I haven't changed at all just yet um, I mean I'm more confident a little bit but I'm still the same Maria as back then and so maybe that's why my mind is telling me like it's playing games on me like you're still the same you, you're still 156 pounds girl like what do you think you're doing you know that is it for today's video I wanted to keep it very short and uh, just keep up with you guys and i hope that you guys are having a great day and oh my goodness so we are in march now i can't believe it i have three days well practically two days till my birthday and i'm pretty sure that's whenever i'm going to be announcing the giveaway um like i said just stay tuned bye guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video